Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Omar Abdul Fattah with Ask Muslim here today. Back with another video. Insha'Allah, God willing, our topic today is going to be how and why do Muslims believe that Islam is the truth? So let's get into it. Now, to basically explain why Muslims believe that Islam is the truth, I'm going to present an analogy. Okay, and that analogy is that of a hit and run, right? So you know what a hit and run is, is when somebody, a driver, hits either a car or a pedestrian, either intentionally or by accident, and then they flee the scene. They don't stay in there, they don't remain at the scene, right? And obviously that is illegal in both the US and Canada. So we have this hit and run, okay? And now let's say at this hit and run, there were only four witnesses, okay? So let's say we have person one, person two, person three, Person four, okay? So the first person says, first person says that it was, he says basically he saw the car and he saw the driver. He says it was a blue car, okay? Second person says he saw the car and he saw the driver. He said it was a red car who committed the hit, the hit and run, right? A driver in a red car hit a pedestrian, let's say, or actually let's say he hit another car and then he drove off. The third driver says it wasn't a red car or a blue car. He says it was a car but it was yellow, right? And then the last driver says, or the last witness says, it was a white car, right? So we had blue, red, yellow, white, okay? So we have these four witnesses, okay? Now, some of you might say, obviously only one of these people is telling the truth, okay? Now, in this example, in this analogy, let's say each of these four witnesses represents a different religion. Let's say Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, Sikhism, okay? So they're each saying that, yes, there is a car, right? But it's a different color, okay? Now, suppose a fifth witness comes in and he said, no, I actually saw, I saw the accident uh, from across the street and I actually filmed it. Now he comes in and let's say this person represents Islam. This person says, the car was actually all four colors, right? So it was red, blue, yellow and white. It was all four colors, right? And I can prove it to you because I have it all filmed on my iPhone. Okay, and then he presents it and indeed it is filmed on the iPhone. Now, how is this representative of Islam? The reason why Islam is the truth is because it encompasses all other truths. So, in this case, the car was in fact blue, it was in fact red, it was in fact yellow, and it was in fact white. How is that possible? Because the driver who saw it as blue, he saw it from the back of the car, let's say. The driver who saw it as red saw it from the right side of the car. The driver who saw it as yellow saw it from the left side of the car. And the driver who saw it as white, who thought it was white, saw it head on. Now let's say this car, and this is obviously very possible, this car was basically like a rainbow, like a clown car, right? So each side of the car had a different color, okay? And the Muslim comes and he says, well, it's actually true because the car was actually all four colors. This is how the owner painted it. And I can prove it to you by having it on video. So he is telling the truth because his truth encompasses all other truths and he can prove it via video footage. In the same way, Islam is the truth because it encompasses all other truths. So yes, we believe in the prophet of the Jews, in the prophets of the Jews, Moses, Abraham. We believe in them, right? And we, we hold them as prophets. Yes, we believe, right, in Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, right? And yes, we believe that there is one God, right? So Islam is the truth because it encompasses these all, these other truths, right? Now, obviously there are things that we disagree with, right, that are differences between Christianity and Islam, for example, specifically, right, who Jesus was, right? So Islam offers the criteria, right, or the physical proof that what it's saying is true. In the analogy of a hit and run, that physical proof was video footage, right? In everyday, day-to-day -day life, that analogy or that proof is the Quran. Now, why do we believe that the Quran is the word of God? Why do we believe that it's the truth? If you read chapter two, right, on the third page, God says what means, what's translated to mean, and if you are in doubt about what we have sent down upon our Prophet, 
then produce one chapter like it. Call upon your witnesses other than God to testify if you are truthful. And then God says, and you will not be able to, and certainly you will never be able to. Right? So, the fact that the Quran cannot be replicated by a human being, and this has been in the Quran for 1400 years, and it has never been done, this is proof that it is from God. Right? And that is why Muslims believe that Islam is the truth. Because the Quran can be held up against critical scrutiny, essentially. Against tests, against empirical examination. And one thing that I really find profound about it is that it challenges you to a scientific experiment. Because it's saying, if you doubt that this book is from God, then produce a, a, a chapter like it, right? And obviously, if it was the work of a human being, then any other human being would be able to make it. But it's been 1400 years, it has never been done. So in summary, the reason why Islam is the truth is because one, it encompasses all other truths, right? Yes, we believe in Jesus. Yes, there's evidence that Jesus was alive, right? And we believe in his miracles. Yes, we believe in Moses and Abraham and all the other prophets. And we believe that a prophet was sent or a messenger was sent to every single uh, group of people, right? Every single group of people. And they all had the same message, right? So all these different truths that are present in these various religions, right? We believe in. But the Quran serves as the ultimate criterion or that evidence, right? In the analogy of the hit and run, it was the iPhone video footage, right? So the Quran serves as that evidence, right? And the reason why we believe that the Quran is that evidence is because it cannot be replicated by a human being. And this is especially profound considering that the Quran was revealed orally over 23 years. You would expect that if it was the work of a human being, you would find within it many, many contradictions. And this is what God says in chapter 4, verse 82. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed shaitan. أفلا يتدبرون القرآن ولو كان من عند غير الله لوجدوا فيه اختلافا كثيرا Do they not reflect upon the Quran? For if it was from any other than God, they would have found within it many contradictions. So that, in a very, very brief nutshell, is why Islam is the truth. If you have any questions, please ask a Muslim. Peace and blessings be upon you.